the Mongolian adventure is coming to an end. So I said to Mr. Bol, listen mate, let's have one last adventure before we go home. So I said to him, let's go to the Gobi Desert in the south of Mongolia on the border of China. So he accepted. We left this morning, have driven about five hours and we have stopped in perhaps one of the most random towns I've ever been to called Madame Gobi. Does not get more random than where we are right now. So we got here and honestly, it is pretty gloomy. The weather is shocking, it's pissing it down, it's windy. And we're speaking to the locals that said to us, listen, if you go to the Gobi Desert, you're just gonna be caught in a sandstorm. So we decided to cut the trip short. We'll have a little mince around in this very random town. Let me show you on the map where we are. It does not get more random than this. It is in the middle of nowhere, in a small little town where foreigners simply do not come. This sums up our time in Mongolia, really. You'll be in a city or a small town, and then inside that small town, you just have so much of it just rotting away, abandoned. I mean, look at this building here. It's massive, and it's just rotting away. The side of the road. Holy good... shit, mate. The locals of Mandalgovi are fighting. <laughs> <laughs> this place is nuts. <laughs> well, Look at them. There's some They're full on towns. scrapping. They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, mate. <coughs> yeah, good man, good man. <laughs> <laughs> This is Mandal Govi. Welcome to <laughs> <laughs> the roughest town in Mongolia. I think that fight was over that woman because the guy that was scrapping has now got the woman on the back of his bike right in front of us, look. So he stole that other bloke's woman and now off he goes into the desert. Another great discovery by Backpacker Ben. I spotted some Soviet history. <laughs> Don't know what it means, but I spotted it. I will admit, Benjamin has found the greatest piece of Soviet history on his entire trip. The first time he's come up with the goods. What the hell is it? Just some woman holding a helmet. Paintings <laughs> on the side of a factory wall. Here. Wow, great. Look at the roads. Jesus. Hotel? See the sign? Jesus. Oh, let's go and check in. Pull up a second, mate. I want to check and see if the hotel's open. You going in there? Yeah. Doesn't look hotel. open, mate. Does not look open. The greatest hotel in Mongolia. <laughs> oh, there's a door over there. Go over that one. Good luck. No way is that open. Look at the state of the door. <laughs> other one. Other door. Moment of truth. Is the other door open? Ooh. Is he in? No. Well, there goes our chance of staying here for the night. Who knows, maybe we would have spent a few days here in Mando Govi. <laughs> but, my god, what a place. Let's continue driving around. Restaurants and pub. I like the way they call things pubs. You know what Cyber no. Cyber no. Usually my cyber nose, Mongolian greeting for hello, works and it leads to a conversation. But not in this town. They just look at you like you're some sort of weirdo and carry on. Jesus. It looks like we're about to hit the rough ends of the town and that's saying something. Oh my God, it's completely off road. Jesus. Oof. 
terms of random places I've been in my time. This could be number one. I thought it was going to be Moron when we went to the north of Mongolia. But this is different. This is next level. Size of, Size of that dog, man. That dog could kill me. I can't lie to you guys, this is a struggle. This is perhaps the most challenging place I've ever been in hunts for content. Normally content just comes to you when you're a YouTuber and you stumble across it, but here like, I mean, look at it, there's just nothing here. Mr. Bold has met someone. Who is this man? I've met the greatest English speaker, not just in this town. How are you? Oh, yeah. Good. Good. So really? In America. Go, uh, what? I'm Billy. Billy? Yeah. And you live here? <laughs> yeah, I live Billy's here. Billy's the greatest. That's so English random. <laughs> My God. Yeah, I was amazed. Like, you know, I wanted to talk to him, and I, I didn't want to like. Billy kind of saved me because some kids were attacking me on the street. Yeah. They were saying, oi, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to join us for some food or something? Is there, yeah, is there yeah. a restaurant here or somewhere? Yeah. Yeah, get some food? Yeah. Come on, yeah. jump in. Then. Yeah, jump right, in, mate. Food. Let me move my stuff out of the way. Maybe you want to go on the right-hand side of the road? It might Shut be up, boy, yes. You're embarrassing me in front of our new guest, <laughs> Billy. Embarrassing you? Because you can't drive, mate. <laughs> Guys, like, Billy. Whoa, 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 just look where the gate is. Oh, where do I park there? Well, no, no, just go straight. Here. Billy, okay. see what I park with? Um, for days this has been happening. Go straight. That's uh, right. I'll, yeah? Yeah, you'll find I there. trust Billy, not Bold's direction of Go this town. Go down there, we'll park here, we'll cut the steps. Oh, I'm sorry, I know more than Billy. Billy. I'm better at this town Don't than Billy. Don't diss Billy's navigation Billy, skills. I'm the new guide in this town. Go right here. Billy has joined us on this adventure. He speaks perfect English, he lived in America for one year or something. So he's going to join us. He's going to take us to the mountain to overlook this town. <laughs> yeah, right. If it's at night time. Oh like, God. come on, dudes. Okay. Oh, there you go. The legend Billy has saved the video and saved the day here in Madden Gobi. He's leading us to the top of the mountain. So let's get to the top. How cold does it get here in the winter? It gets like, uh, it could get minus 30. Minus 30? Yeah. My God. You guys are hardcore. Yeah, also when it comes to summer, it gets like, you can get 30 Celsius, you know? Wow. It's like an extreme. You get the extremes of winter and summer. summer. But this is it, this is the viewpoint of yeah, the city. Cool. This is the windiest place I've ever been. I've got a little wind muff on the mic, but it won't be doing anything. But this is it, this is the viewpoint of modern Gobi. Let me climb up this rock and show you. Woo! Oh, that's mature, isn't it, mate? Lobbing rocks. Yeah, that's 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 great. Why are you trying to be cool in front of Billy? At your age. Safe travels. Mate. Thank you, mate. You too. To Take you. care, okay? Thank you, mate. Legend. Billy has saved the day. Oh, didn't he just? Yes. Thank God. What were we going to do in this town without Billy? I don't know. Um, was, um, took us to that mountain. He did that. Showed us random. around a little bit, and that was it. And he's uh, now gone back to his life here in Madden Gobi. I'm uh, just predicting something. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you by me. Of course. Billy's going to be getting some fan mail in the comment section from. Um, the three percent female subscribers. Twelve percent for me, mate. Twelve percent of my subscribers are female. What's yours? Three percent? Point three percent? Terrible. Which way? Left turn. Left turn. Let's get out of here and get back to Ulaanbaatar. Seven hours up those dodgy ass roads.
Well, we're not going to see the Gobi Desert, but we are looking at a desert right now. So at least we've seen a Mongolian desert. It's not the best, not the prettiest, but at least it's a desert. Let me show you. Jesus, worst fucking driver. Stop moaning about my driving and appreciate the desert views. Look at it. Bang average. Bloody Yorkshire Moors. It's <laughs> a bloody Burnley or Leeds. And there you go, guys. We have left the town of Madangovi. Not my favourite place in Mongolia, I've got to be honest. But yeah, unfortunately, we won't be going any further. Maybe next time when I come back to Mongolia, one day, who knows, we can head to the Gobi Desert. But the weather, as you can hear, just isn't worth the 10 hour drive further down south. So let's get out of here and get back to the capital, Ulaanbaatar. Goodbye, Madal Gobi. That's the weather. Look at this weather, guys, honestly. Look at these potholes, Jesus Christ. Do not want to be getting a puncture out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to find you for hours. Bloody hell, I speak camel. Oh, fucking well done, mate. Oh my god. Well done, mate. Yeah, just take us in even deeper, mate. Shit. Jesus fucking. <laughs> Nearly got stuck in a desert just Jesus. to look at a camel. <laughs> that you can see the fucking zoo. Fuck it out. <laughs> Let me get back on the road. Oh, Jesus. Guys, I planned on going off road to show you some camels, but I nearly got stuck in a ditch. <laughs> Don't want to be stuck out here, let me tell you. We've arrived back in the capital, Ulaanbaatar. And let me tell you something. I've said it in the previous video, this is the worst place on earth for traffic. I'm gonna put it to the test now and prove to you that it is. So uh, yeah, let's get to the hotel and I'm gonna show you how bad the traffic is here. It's a bloody nightmare. Right, so it says 14 minutes to the hotel, yeah? What's the time? It is eight minutes to seven. Let's see what time we get to the hotel. Welcome back to the worst traffic in the world. Get ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Here yeah, we go. Film it. There's the traffic. Oh, we've reached it already. It's shocking. It was only like two minutes ago. You checked the time and... Yep. This is it, mate. This is us now for another hour. Minimum. I, I would say we're not in a hotel. It says on here, how many minutes to the hotel? What are we on now? It says 11 minutes to the hotel, right? All right, yeah. I'm predicting we won't be there within an hour 45. I reckon within the hour, we'll be in the hotel. So, so before- You're saying before 8, 10, yeah. we are in the hotel. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, half an hour later. He just goes on for miles, look at that. It's never ending. There's an ambulance trying to get through, but because there's 10 million cars, it's an absolute nightmare. Look at it, look at it trying to get through. Look, no one's bloody moving. No one's letting him in. There go the ambulance go chasers. There go the ambulance chasers. Look at this guy trying to cut in on the right. Trying to mount the curb in front of us. Am I safe to go left, mate? Uh, this car's there, but pushing slowly. And back in traffic. Butter my ass. What's that mean? Oh, yeah. oh, steady on, love. You ain't coming through. What is she doing? No bloody chance. <laughs> you having a laugh in ya? There's no shortcuts in Ulaanbaatar. <laughs> are we looking? We've come up to oh, 50 minutes nearly. 50 minutes. And it still mate. says we're five minutes. It still says we're five minutes from the hotel. Here is my proof that Ulaanbaatar is the worst place in the world for traffic. Platinum Hotel. Kaiser, Hotel Kaiser, seen it. Hotel Kaiser. Uh, what's it like? Fuck's sake. Are you fucking kidding? Oh, Jesus man. Christ. That looks shit. 
Oh yeah, Hotel Kaiser. Parking we made space, it. disengage engine, seatbelt off, made it. There's the Platinum Hotel there. Yeah, we'll check right. it out. This one's this one's shit. We'll go to the Platinum Hotel. Yeah. I mean, it will be shit. <laughs> I'm fucking terrified. <laughs> mate, honestly, the fucking... It's all falling apart, mate. Yeah, we've stayed in worse. Come on. Oh, here we go. At long last. An hour on the dot, to be fair. We have, we have made it. Hotel Kaiser. Let's go investigate the rooms. 30 quid. Should be all right. Are you happy with it? I feel like I can do one night here. Let's do one night here. Yeah? Yeah. More expensive than you know that. That's fine. <laughs> All right, check. <coughs> Bloody hell. Is it Bronchitis bold. Right, I've checked in on the fourth floor. Elevator ain't working. Let's find out what £35 gets you here a night in Mongolia. Oh man. Would you rug? No, I feel disgusted being here. You stayed in worse, come on. No, I have. <laughs> <sighs> what Ben isn't telling you? We stayed in the very nice hotel before and we went back. It wasn't that good. For the same price, much better. Next to our favourite restaurants. No stairs. No stairs had a lift. And so, now he's brought us to the kind of. <sighs> Jesus, this is the top floor, isn't it? This is the top floor, she's got us far away from her. Yeah. <laughs> right, 401. I'm in. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. That's all right. That's all right, I'll take that. <coughs> oh my God. I'm cut off court bold's bronchitis. There you go, that's what 35 pound a night gets you here in Mongolia. Can't complain really, decent bathroom. Got a little office, do some editing. And a nice clean bed. Overlooking the view of Ulaanbaatar. Ooh, lovely, beautiful.